What's up, man? It's Friday. Lunch break. Jumping back on the Tahoe. Take my top off. I can do that over here. I ain't got nobody to put your uniform back on, soldier. All that. Hey, when it's hot, that's the first thing I do. Top and PC. Take them off. Take them straight off, man. Stink, man. We ain't got on no shorts. We got full uniforms. Covering arms and legs and hat. It'd be like 100 degrees. You guaranteed to be soaked every day in 100 degrees working. So, uh, let me go get. I don't know what I need yet, but hold on. Let me cut y'all back on. Alright, now, let me get this radio in. So, this harness here is for the radio. So, this is color coded for you. Right is the front left. Gray is the front right, green. Yeah, each color I'm seeing is gonna have a, a line, one with a line and one without a line. One without the line is positive, I believe. Well, it, it depends, cause some be negative too, so. And then they'll tell you on it. Uh, let's see if it said. it. See, left front, but it don't say negative or positive. Let's see if the black one said. it. It's like real remedial stuff, man. I know that some people up here like, why is he talking about this? All right, so this one said, so negative got the line on here, but they be vice versa mismatching sometimes. I know a lot of y'all like, man, why he explaining how to put a radio in? But it's some people that don't know how to do it, and they always tell me, could you show it? So I try to show all that detail stuff. All right, now, so you got the one for the car and then one for the radio. All these colors is gonna be on here. Some don't have the same colors, like this orange, it's dimmer. You see this don't have an orange. Alright, so you wanna use it. Dimmer is when you cut the lights on and off. That the radio like won't be as bright when you cut the lights on because it's dark outside. That's what the dimmer is for. Uh, let's see what else might not be on here. Um, Alright, that's it. Oh, it's got a remote. Yep. Put on my phone ring. I just had to get accountability because I'm platoon sergeant for a week. Just to actually shoot on post and got to account for 19 people. So, all right. So, yellow is power, black is ground, red is remote. I mean, with 12 volt switch. So, when you cut the key on and off, the radio cut on and off. Um, other than that, these eight speaker wires. And then these, uh, this blue and white is remote. It's, it's called antenna on here because when you turn the radio on, like actually on all the way and they have a power antenna and it'll come up but some people use just connect that to 12 volt switch the some radios man the remote wire goes out and i always just use the red one and i want the amp to cut on and off or whatever i'm using 12 volt switch i want to just cut on and off and the radio cut on and off so i'm going ahead splice those in together but the blue on this harness same thing it's for antenna so i'm gonna connect those together but I'm gonna run my 12 volt switch for my amp off here. That stripper. So it's a stripper and a crimper. Stick the wire in between these two. And squeeze and it strips the wire. So this is where you adjust for the wire gauge, the thickness. Down at the bottom is where you crimp, but I'm not gonna use crimp. This crimper, I have a better crimper than this. So I'm just gonna strip this uh, blue wire as a demonstration. One second. Well, you won't have to do it with your teeth and all that stuff. All right, so I got a better crimper in here. Let me dig through it's my electrical box. It's getting big. It's like my muscle, I mean muscle. <laughs> my uh, engine rebuilding box. One sec. This is what we got. I think these are called buck connectors. I actually forgot because I'm, I'm, I make a big purchase. Show y'all I make big purchases of everything so I won't have to keep buying it. I hate buying the same thing over and over and over. Like like batteries. I wish I could purchase batteries in bulk. Car batteries. Uh but yeah, I buy a lot of stuff in bulk, man, because I don't want to keep buying the same stuff over and over. So 
crimp caps. I, I would usually use crimp caps on something I just did, but y'all see them is what I just used. So the reason I like to use them is because it's a tight fit for the wiring. Um, but really just I ain't trying to keep talking about the same thing, but show y'all what they sent. The uh, prep field sent. this basically tightening up on the wire like a uh, electrical type of connection I don't like using those though man them boys, them boys be falling off in the back then something bounce around you hear spark flew blown all kind of stuff so yeah so I like using these so once you crimp get your heat going and shrink them boys up show y'all I don't want to burn up nothing. Wish I got the scar on my arm. Yeah. Yeah, that could work. I put on two more. I put on two more. up on it on that wire like that that's what i like so i'm gonna go ahead and do the rest got all them uh, got all them tight so at this point i used to get electrical tape wrapped around this part but i'm gonna use the tesla tape the same uh stuff i used on a speaker wire right here so all right it came came out bulging a little bit i'm gonna do it over uh it's over there somewhere let me go get it and then I got two remote wires, so one for the amp and then all the stuff in the front. So I'm going to have the uh, voltage regulator. It might need that. It's going to be two voltmeters, one for the factory charging system and one for the second charging alternator system. Where is it going to go? Not too sure yet, but about a push button, 4x4, four four, so a couple spots that it can go right there. Might stick them right there. Let me see. But all that is, well, I can only put one of them because this is running off the factory. Uh, the other one has to come from probably a switch or something. Something like that. Because once you cut the car on, this whole system, the remote is running off the factory. But, I mean, that ain't really important because not a lot of people is doing that and need to know how to do that. So let me just wrap this up real quick. All right, man, that's all done. Remember, I just got an order that. Um, so the company sent a glass was cracked. They sent it. Another one was cracked. And they just said, we're not, we not sending you another one. So I was just like, all right, whatever. I guess I'll just keep the one that they did send this black and paint it and all and seal just the mirror part or try to seal just the mirror part then get the money for the glass because uh it's a hassle just charge it to the game man can't charge a customer for something uh like that but oh boy looking so good mount them up someday soon um quick test real quick before i go back to work Go ahead and put the battery on. CD. Cool. I hate that sound, man. Let me let the window down. This auto wire's not working automatically. Ready for a bass demo? Y'all ready for this bass demo? It's about to get loud. No, I'm just joking. But let me just play with it, see what it sounds like. It's 97.5. Hey, sound real good. This, this radio got a whole lot of options as far as audio. Um, but the EQ is a computer, computer program. So 
I don't think I'll be doing too much adjusting on here because that EQ is like next level. So, but you still can get uh, some tweaking in if you can't get it on the audio control EQ. But yeah, I'm trying to stick all of that under here. We'll see how it go. But yeah, taking those seats out should be a breeze. That's the what's next up. Here go my other crimper. I was thinking like, where's my other crimper at? Cause I got two like of everything. Because I always lose one and then I buy another one, then I find it. So the RCAs, show y'all something real quick. All right, man, the RCAs. Uh, shoot. They go in the back, over there to the left, over there. And they get ran down. So this USB, these two USBs that come with this for charging or whatever. Try to stick them up here in this tall one. Or, I don't know, I'm going to try to see what I can come up with. But you can do whatever you want with those. Take this tape off, I was using the white on. My uh, label maker tape actually came. So I'm going to try to use that. And then uh, the voltage regulator it's a knob you can adjust so i'm gonna try to stick that knob in one so it'll be two voltmeters usb and that so and this dvd player not stand so i might contact the customer ask me when we take this out and we can stick some stuff down there but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. let's see yeah a matter of fact i'm gonna do that right now 